another glorious day and another beautiful opportunity to share the word with you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Today, let us study from the book of uh, 1 John chapter 4. I'll read verse 4 specifically. I'll be reading from the King James Version. Let's go. Ye are of God, little children. So, basically, God is speaking to us from little John, telling us that this is our origin. Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them. Overcome who? The world and the influences of the world. Why have we overcome them? Because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. They are of the world, therefore they speak of the world, and the world heareth them. We are of God. He that knoweth God heareth us. He that is not of God heareth not us. Hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Praise God. I want to reiterate again. Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them. Because greater is he that is in you than is he than, than he that is in the world. The, the spirit of the living God indwells you and makes you gives you world overcoming faith. World overcoming faith resides on the inside of you. The greater one indwells you, so he puts you over every situation and circumstance in this world. Do not fear. You have overcome them. Not that you will overcome them. Notice the tense here. It's not saying you will. You have overcome. So if you have overcome, there's a different mentality. There's a different mindset you have. You walk around as an overcomer, not as one that will overcome, but one that has already overcome. God has already called you an overcomer. The greater one that indwells you has made you an overcomer. So walk as an overcomer. Don't go with your head down in the, in the dumps, in the mud. Greater is he that dwells, that lives in you than is he that is in the world. And he has made you an overcomer. Go forth, manifesting the potentials and the attributes of one who has already overcome. God bless you. Hallelujah.